YouTube viewers and random Iron Man fans, I come before you today to review this, which is the Iron Man 3 Arcafex Repulsor, and here it is in its packaging, which is fairly standard, we've seen this design before on other Iron Man 3 merchandise. So, you've got the Iron Man 3 logo on the top with a picture of the Mark 47 beside it, and in the background there we have the standard Hall of Armor motif. In the middle there is a circular piece of transparent plastic which gives you a good look at the toy and below we have a kid playing with it. Archifex is written beside it with a repulsor written in various languages there and we also get the Avengers Assemble logo as well. It does contain lights and sound effects and it requires three AAA batteries which fortunately are included as there is a try me option. On the back there's nothing to talk about, just a large picture of the toy itself and there's a little piece of text there telling you that the mask the kid is wearing in the picture there is sold separately. Nah, I thought it was included in the packaging as it's big enough. Maybe it's hidden behind the toy or below this card at the bottom? No? Ah well, just checking. Anyway, enough sarcasm, let's open this up and take a look at the toy itself. So here we go, and as you can see, it's incredibly small, especially when compared to previous Repulsor toys such as last year's Avengers version. The detail on it is fairly decent, around the Repulsor itself there are some red and gold sections. The Repulsor itself is coloured blue and is textured in the middle, and the rest of it is very basic, just a few raised sections and a speaker grill, and more of that gold paint which does match the colour of the Mark 47 armour in the movie. On the back we have this elasticated strap on the repulsor itself and a plastic wrist strap as well. It's littered with screw holes and legal garb but fortunately this side isn't on display when the toy is in use so it doesn't really detract from its overall look. So the detail is just okay. Quickly for articulation, the repulsor section itself can rotate through 135 degrees just like previous repulsor toys which allows you to flick your wrist up while wearing it. Attaching it to your hand is fairly easy, the elastic strap slots over your fingers while the plastic strap clicks into place around your wrist. The strap itself is quite long and can fit adult hands, I mean my hands are massive, seriously the like Wreck-It Ralph style huge, and this just about fits it. Usually to activate these repulsor toys you flick your wrist back, but with this toy it operates differently. Pressing the repulsor itself causes it to light up blue and emit one of three sound effects which all sound awesome. Pressing the repulsor may sound like it's a little awkward, but it works for me, as kids can quickly press it just before they raise their hands, giving the effect that it's firing on its own. Plus with the older repulsor toys, pulling your wrist back to activate it was kind of awkward and could cause it to fire randomly if the kid wearing it moves their hand a little, which could get very annoying. So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, it's cute. Yeah, you heard that right, I said cute. It's small, it lights up, it makes noise, and pretty much does its job. The detail is acceptable for a kid's toy, and the lights and sounds are very movie accurate, as they only emit the noise of a repulsor activating, unlike the Avengers version, which would come out with phrases from the movie. And the last thing kids want the repulsor to admit as they fire it is... I am Iron Man. One downside is that there is no on or off switch, so if a child wants to wear this to the cinema when they're watching the movie, they might accidentally trigger it with no way of turning it off. Plus, it doesn't fire missiles which may disappoint some kids who have the older repulsors which do include projectiles. But beyond that, I think it's an excellent little toy. Last year you may remember I reviewed the rapid fire web shooter from The Amazing Spider-Man, and in that review I made it clear that I didn't really like it. Well, honestly, I think this would make a pretty sweet web shooter, if it was remoulded slightly and repainted with different lights and sounds of course. It straps to your wrist nicely and the activation button is positioned perfectly for your two middle fingers to press it, just like Spider-Man. But as an Iron Man repulsor toy, it works just as well. So that brings me to the end of this review. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there are countless more reviews online. Thank you again for watching and remember to keep following the nerd. Goodbye.